I'm Andrea Wirtz. I'm from Perrysburg Girls Soccer, and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Molly Whitaker, and I'm from Perrysburg Girls Soccer, and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet. I'm Margaret Bernard, head coach of Perrysburg Girls Soccer, and you're watching Ohio Sportsnet. Perrysburg Girls Soccer with 33 44 remaining in the second half. By the Yellow Jackets, number 12, Maddie Williams. Oh, 
guys number one in the state, undefeated. Somebody doesn't know about Perrysburg. How how much of a statement do you think you sent just saying, hey, we're the team to be? Well, I feel like we've been strong for a while. We've been putting a lot of pressure on the past NLL champions in our area, and this is our second year winning the NLLs in this area. So I think that people are starting to hear our name, that they're starting to recognize that we're a program that takes it really seriously. We're trying to go all the way. Should they believe the hype? Um, yeah, I feel like we are definitely going to come out and play as hard as we can against anyone. And we have high hopes of going as far as we can and achieving all of our team goals. And then in the back, you and Molly, the center backs. Uh, I've never seen really the better pair back there. If you can get around, you know, her, then there's you to clean it up. But do you guys feel that you have a nice cohesion, nice chemistry? Yeah, definitely. We always talk. We always support each other. I'm always there to back her up in case there's anything she needs from me, like a pass back or... So we switch places all the time too, like she'll cover me or I'll cover her. We definitely keep the back solid. Coming here traveling a couple hours, last day of the season on the road, um, coming to Cleveland area, does that maybe almost prepare you for where you want to go down the road? You're going to have to make some road trips? Yeah, definitely. This year more than anything, I think we've really adjusted to our long distance games. We, on the bus, we all connect as a team, we have fun, but when we get here and it's time to warm up, we get down to business and we have been able to step it up and come out strong, real strong. One of your players that stands out, of course, is Maddie, putting the ball in the back of the net. How nice is that having her on your team? It's great. It's, it's awesome. We all support her, and she also supports our other forwards, too. They also get a chance. We've really been exploiting her talents, and we've all been trying to let everyone else score and get chances as well. So she helps get things in action as well as everyone else does. You get to see her up close and personal every day in practice. You guard her. How scary would that be to be on the other side as an opponent guarding her for 80 minutes? I love it. It's it's how I it's how me and the other defenders get better at our job as we defend Maddie. And if she's the best out here in Ohio and she's up against us, that makes us even better. So we kind of bounce each other out and we keep improving each other. It's like helping us all, defending against her. Last thing, last year the way the season ended. How much of a bad taste that put in your mouth and motivate you girls for this year? Oh, it was crazy. We just wanted to come out and beat Northview so bad. We had a huge crowd. We had so much support. We went out and we crushed them this year. It felt so good. And now we just feel like we're, we're ready to take on anyone, that we can just keep on going and blow away um, how far we got last year, just keep going farther and farther. And that's what we hope to do. I'm one of the state, undefeated. Very, very young. Mm -hmm. Should people believe the hype? Yes, I think we're the best team out there, you know. We play good as a team, we have good chemistry, we, I don't know, we're really good together. So we beat everybody, I guess. What makes you guys so good? Um, I think our team chemistry and we all know how each other play. We all know where we're going to be on the field and we just know each other's strengths and if they, I don't know, if they need help, we help them out and everything. How nice to have a player like Maddie up front. Really nice, you can rely on her for a lot of things. She just knows how to beat every defender and, you know, she is one with the ball. She just knows how to do everything with it. One <laughs> so, with the ball? One with the ball. Does she got like part Jedi in her? Is that it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you, you can say that. I like that. All right, and then on top of it, playing against Maddie every day, guarding mm -hmm. her in practice, mm -hmm. how much does that make you girls better as a team, defenders, everyone? Yeah, we all know how to defend a lot better now. She's taught us everything. We teach her things, and just back and forth, but we all know that you can't come up right away and just stab at her. You have to contain her. So she gives us skills that we can learn. And then having a player like that, you see what it every day what it is like in practice. Mm -hmm. How scary is it for a defender to guard her for 80 minutes? Yeah, it is a little scary. At practice, we always say, you have to guard her, not me, and we switch days. But I don't know, it's a little intimidating. The way last year ended, a little yeah. bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. How very much bad. does that motivate you girls this year to go even more? Very, very, very much. We know how it feels to lose when we could have gone a lot further. And it motivates us just to want it even more. I know and we're in a great position now, and we look back at last year and know we are in the same position, and we just know how to deal with it a lot better this year. Number one in the state, undefeated. Regular season's over, getting ready for the tournament. Should everybody believe the hype about the Yellow Jackets? I guess people can kind of believe whatever they want to, but I, you know we have done a really good job. The kids have been playing really well this season. Um, and, you know, I mean, we're continuing to hope we, we were going to keep working hard and you know go as far as we can in the tournament or you know our goal is to go all the way and I think that as long as we keep progressing and keep playing well then you know we should be able to do that. How good is this team? 
This team is, is, is really good, and I, I mean, on the field they play so well together. Off the field they just have really good chemistry. It's just a really kind of um, tight-knit team, and I think all those things kind of play well together um, to give us, you know, and, and to help kind of lead to the success that we've had so far. On top of scoring goals, it seems like you have a very stout defense, especially led by Molly in the pack. She's kind of your anchor there. She's one of the more physical players I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. You think she's one of the better defenders you've seen? Um, Molly does an awesome job. She is pretty much everywhere on the field. She wins balls. She distributes really well. I, I mean, she really does anchor a lot of, of what happens, you know, in our transition and, and, and our attack. So, yeah, she does a great job. And then get the ball up front. Is there a better finisher or better forward in the state than Maddie? I mean, Maddie Williams plays phenomenally. She scores. She has a nose for the goal. Um, she finishes better than you know any player I've seen so far. And um, you know she creates so many opportunities. So she just is a, a really all-around threat up top. You touched on being an all-around threat. Her being as talented as she is, how does that translate in practice? Her making the rest of her teammates better having to guard her all the time. Absolutely. I mean, I definitely think that that helps our defense when you're trying to defend against, you know, one of the great, a great scorer that it makes you have to step up. And, um, you know, she has a really strong work ethic and, you know, so that translates to practice. So it's just, you know, it helps everybody basically. Take me back to last year after the way the season ended. How much did that leave a bad taste in the whole team's mouth and motivate you guys for this year? I mean, you know, that's always kind of, Unfortunately, it's a tough way to end a season. It's just that lasting memory. Um, and I think that that definitely for the returning players has, has kind of been that, that memory in the back of their mind that they know that, you know, when the tournament comes, we've got to come and we've got to play hard every single game. Um, and I think that that is something that's going to, you know, lead us far. I think we're going to, you know, we, we know what it's like. we got to work hard and, and um, you know, just kind of build us a new year. So you know, keep progressing. I've talked to coaches before and they'd say, it's almost good to lose, so that way you feel that taste and going for like before a tournament. Do you agree with that? Or you say, hey, you know what, we want to win every game. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like if we're playing good soccer, you know, we should win. And I don't, I understand that mentality. However, um, you know, we're playing really well and I, think that as long as we continue that then we don't have to worry have that mentality of worrying about losing or needing to lose early on I, I think that you know it, we've played really well so as long as we keep doing that it's gonna you know I expect us to have a strong tournament a two-hour road trip here on the last day of the regular season in Northeast Ohio does that almost prepare your girls getting ready getting on the road for some of the tournament camps especially later on um absolutely and I mean I think it's it's nice I don't mind traveling out here you know to get to play some some different teams and different competition it's good good practice for our kids to get to play you know other schools than just you know northwest ohio so yeah i mean i think it's a a great way to lead into the tournament